Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we'll be looking into a basic implementation of uh, tabs in React.js. So over here you're looking into the idea around tabs. So this is the basic uh, overview of tabs which you can see over here in the screen. So tab 1, tab 2, tab 3 is like uh, the thing which we are going to create using React.js. But over here the catch is that we are not going to use any module or library to achieve this but we are using uh, basic react components which will be class and functional components to create those tabs so this is just a demonstration kind of a thing or uh, just to show you how uh, the things will work in our uh, demo app so giving you giving you a basic idea of tabs so tabs basically will consist of a content or data within that based on your selection of this uh, tabs you'll get different data so over here uh, we have two tabs which is overview and api uh, if i click on api you can see the data is changed right and if you click on back to overview you see the data changed again so this is basically the behavior of of tabs in your app so in today's video we are going to achieve something similar to it let's get uh, right into the code section so uh, just giving you a heads up you're not going to use any uh, npm module like we have done uh, we have did in previous uh, videos of react but in this like we are going to do everything from scratch so stay tuned guys and uh, the code for this will be available in the description so if you just want to get started and build uh, something out of that you can definitely do that so this is our uh, code uh, editor this is the folder structure which you are seeing in the extreme left and uh, this are the three main components index.js or tabs and panels so within the source folder you can see those uh, components and uh, you also have a styles.css so first uh, let's get into index.js so index.js is pretty straightforward we are importing two components which is tabs and panels also we have a style sheet which will have some basic styling for the tabs which we are going to achieve you can call it as tabs or panels because tabs uh, tabs is something which uh, wraps the panel component in the index.js uh, file so this was like a basic idea of imports we have here the app component with uh, states data user id and an array so data is something that we are going to render in our panels uh, the one we are going to switch between and uh, user id is just a basic uh, variable storing for and uh, array is like storing some integer as well which we are going to filter out later on while selecting a different panel in your tab uh, the next thing is uh, the component date mount handler so if you are familiar with class components in react uh, this is usually used to uh, make api calls which will get your data from an api uh, even before rendering the uh, components in your web page so this is uh, uh, that and uh, we are using json placeholder to get a list of users uh, so this is a free api endpoint everyone can use that once we get that data or uh, it has been set into the state uh, uh, of that component so yeah set state result the data right now over here we have the render function we are uh, getting some data from the states and uh, we are having a dev over here and this is the tabs and panel component so over here the tabs component is entirely wrapping up the panel component and we have three panels within the tab component which is uh, one two and three the registered name uh, in review candidates and uh, all name 
the first one is just going to simply render the list of user names and their email id and phone number uh, within that panel this is just a uh, basic uh, map function which is looping over the ids and names and uh, the detail which we get from that api just uh, rendering those out nothing uh, fancy but in the next uh, panel component we are doing some filtration with the data and uh, based on the condition which we are providing so basically filter will uh, give you an array as an output but over here we are providing a condition uh, that the event dot id uh, should not match with the user id so four should not match with the ids present in the data which we get so it will uh, provide all the list of uh, users which doesn't have four and it will just uh, map around that so this is basically a fragment and uh, the third panel component is going to filter out uh, the data so it is again going to uh, filter the data from the API endpoint and the array method is this so we have a state over here array so it will look for all the IDs which we get from the API endpoint and it will look if that ID uh, includes that number or the integer right so assume that if you have uh, something in the array like uh, we have a uh, phi and one right so the object which or the data which we are going to get from that api should include that or have that so in that particular case the statement is satisfied and it will give you an array as a response so that array with objects will uh, render the list over here so this is the basic javascript kind of thing so if you are familiar with the js it is pretty straightforward and uh, this is the entire main component and we are exporting the default app so this was our uh, main component index.js now let's navigate to panel.js panel.js is pretty simple we are just importing react and uh, if function panel is being exported with prop so prop is having a uh, is something which is uh, within the panel itself so this is prop of the children so whatever uh, is inside that div this is that fragment so yeah it is pretty straightforward and let's navigate to tabs.js uh, we have a class component with a state selected initially it can be it is zero if there is no state set so it is like a or statement we have a handler change uh, handle change which will uh, take argument as the index of that panel so this is being uh, invoked over here or called over here on on click uh, handler so whenever you uh, click from one panel to another it will note down that index of uh, that uh, and set it to this uh, particular state selected so let's look into the demonstration or the app and get a better idea of it so let's clear this out npm start and let's wait for the thing to run So over here, this is the entire demonstration, the tabs uh, and the panel component. So these are the panels, all name, uh, in review candidates and registered name. This is the H1 tag and below it's an HR. So all names is basically uh, rendering out the list of uh, names and email ID and the phone number without any filtration. The next panel is something which will filter out more so this is uh let me just navigate to that this is that component uh, in review candidate and the third is registered name so like i've said earlier conditions within those panels uh, will give you a certain output so 
that is uh, being rendered over here right so uh, what is the index a zero initially right so if you refresh this and see we directly navigate to all names or the all names panel is set to default right now let's change that index value to something like two right so what will be the result now it moves to the registered name panel right so even if you refresh it will not go to all names but it will navigate to registered names so this is that it will that specific handler which is the handle change will uh, make sure that it notes down and sets the state as an index and uh, uh, keep hold of that so this is basically that it is pretty simple i think nothing much and we have also kept the values and empty if there is no selected or something so this is the entire tabs component it is uh, being exported in the index.js file and the entire thing wraps the panel component over here so uh, this was the all components i've uh, gone through all of them and this is the style sheet nothing fancy just basic basic css and uh, yeah so the code for this will be available in the description feel free to change or uh, make alterations to it and uh, uh, create whatever you like uh, so that's uh, that's it for this video guys if you have any questions queries and concerns please feel free to comment down below and uh, surely uh, provide some feedback if you want to see more uh, component kind of a videos or something like that which i usually am doing from uh, previously so yeah this was it for this video guys uh, stay tuned for more and uh, thanks for watching.